وَالْكِتَابِ الْمُبِينِ إِنَّا أَنزَلْنَاهُ فِي لَيْلَةٍ مُبَارَكَةٍ إِنَّا كُنَّا مُنذِرِينَ فِيهَا يُفْرَقُ كُلُّ أَمْرٍ حَكِيمٍ من قام ليلة القدر إيمانا واحتسابا غفر له ما تقدم من ذنبه that whoever stands in the night during the ليلة القدر in that night whoever stands in prayer with iman يعني faith in Allah سبحانه وتعالى and احتساب expectation and anticipation and hope of the reward of Allah سبحانه وتعالى then their previous sins will be forgiven meaning that they are praying having believing in Allah and believing that Allah has legislated the standing in this night and believing in the reward that Allah has promised for standing in this night and hoping for that reward and expecting it and anticipating it and looking forward to it. Whoever prays in this way during Laylatul Qadr, if they actually perform prayers in that night which is Laylatul Qadr and we don't know which night it is, but we know that it's one of these nights. So if a person stands in all of these nights, then they would definitely reach this reward ta'ala, if they have sincere intention for Allah with Iman and Ihtisab, then their previous sins will be forgiven. As far as the saying of the Prophet ﷺ, Iman and Wahtisaban, with Iman, yani faith and anticipation of the reward of Allah, this means believing in Allah and believing in what Allah has prepared, the reward that He has prepared for those who stand in this night. And Ihtisab, meaning hoping or anticipating the reward and seeking that reward, yani doing it with hope and expectation, anticipation, and desiring the reward for doing it. And this reward will be given to those who know about Laylatul Qadr or who know when it is, if they happen to come to know from some of his signs, and those who don't know. And it doesn't matter if a person knows about Laylatul Qadr or doesn't know. If a person worships Allah and he performs prayer and dhikr and dua and worshiping Allah and Laylatul Qadr with iman and ihtisab, then they will get this reward whether they know about Laylatul Qadr or not. And this is because the Prophet ﷺ didn't didn't make as a condition that the person has to have knowledge of Laylatul Qadr in order to achieve this reward. Rather, every person who worships Allah in that night, they will get their reward. And uh, we close yani, with this and just say, yani, as a reminder to myself first, that indeed some of us will find some tiredness in these days and in these nights, and it's incumbent upon us to resist shaitan and to make every effort to do whatever we can, to make special efforts, do whatever we can to get the benefit from this time and don't let it get away. And wallahi, not one of us are guaranteed to see Ramadan again. Rather, we're not guaranteed to see the next few nights. But if you reach one night, take advantage of it. And if Allah bless you with the second one, take advantage of it. And if Allah bless you with a third one, take advantage of every one of them with the hope that inshallah, if a person is able to strive and struggle sincerely for the sake of Allah, with Iman and Ihtisab, then inshallah they will achieve a great reward. That is beyond our imagination, even though we know that the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Khairun min alfi shahr, and we can imagine what that means, but really we don't know what it means. Allah only knows how great is His generosity and His reward. And we hope for it and we seek it, and we believe that Allah is generous, and if a person is sincere, Allah will grant them reward. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى مطلع الفجر